nothing reveals a nation's true state like a crisis. On January 9, 1981, Dewey D, a businessman, fled the Philippines with almost $85 million in unpaid debts to 16 banks, 12 investment houses, and 17 other financial institutions. The flight caused financial panic, bank runs, and shutdowns of some investment houses. It did not help that at the time, the country was still reeling from the effects of the 1979 oil shock, when price of crude oil soared as a result of the fall of the Shah of Iran and the Iran-Iraq War. These crises revealed, among others, the country's huge budget deficit, 14.4 billion pesos in 1982. Unknown to many, the country's debt had been increasing by 27% a year from 1973 to 1982. In 1970, it was $2.3 billion. By 1983, it was $24.4 billion. Then, on August 21, 1983, Nino Aquino was murdered, causing a political upheaval that would send the economy into tailspin. Gabriel Singson had a ringside view of this tumultuous period in the country's history. By then, he was the deputy governor at the Central Bank and had been working there for almost 30 years. He was no stranger to crisis and had at certain points helped in managing the crisis or averting them. Thus, when President Ramos appointed him governor of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas in 1993, he was more than ready for the job. He was uh, not just a bright young man in the beginning. He had experience. He had motivation, and most of all, he was able to motivate his team towards accomplishing the mission with uh, great results. He's able to, to adapt uh, quickly, uh, responsibly. You know, he's got put into place uh, a flexible uh, monetary policy. The BSP is uh, task with like uh, containing inflation, uh, ensuring there's stability in prices, stability in uh, the foreign exchange market, easy availability of credit, ensuring there is uh, sufficient liquidity in the market. So all his, um, all his policies were centered towards uh, what we call domestic and international monetary stabilization. It's not an easy job uh, because we as uh, regulators, we have to also adapt. Eh? Uh, these are regulations we just have to follow. So we should be quick also to, to adjust to certain situations. But see, see, see Governor Singzon is that kind of a guy who could inspire. Eh? He will meet with, with us no? and he will say, we have a situation here, gentlemen. Uh, this is what I intend to do. And then, siyempre uh, kami, we will respond by saying, Governor, well, baka mahirapan kami nito, mahirapan kami dyan, ganyan, ganyan. But his message would always be, you know, we need to look at the bigger picture. What is good for the economy, not as an individual bank. I, I remember he was saying that uh, when it comes to crisis, uh, the, nobody beats the Philippines and everybody can learn from the Philippines how to get out of such crisis. The most difficult one was and really affected not just us, but the region is the 1997 financial crisis. So that was, uh, that was a terrible period. And uh, everybody had to really make major adjustments. And then he had to make sure that the the foreign exchange uh, rate uh, is stable. If I recall right, uh, Governor Singson was the first and the last to issue a century bond. I was fortunate enough to be part of his team that went to New York then to negotiate with the various fund managers. 
with that successful issue, we were able to bring up our international reserves. Uh, the governor was seen as um, a very inspiring monetary uh, leader, especially to us bankers. And I would even say to lawyers, uh, nobody questions his uh, honesty and uh, integrity. He's the kind of a guy who would always keep himself abreast with the developments all over the globe. Very creative the way the way he thinks. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, collegial, I mean, he consults. He's not the type who would picture himself as, I'm the only one who knows everything. No. And uh, that is what is important. In his words, he said, as uh, governor of the central bank, you have to be a very good bartender in managing the liquidity. You know the right mix, no? This is just my personal opinion. What the bank really needs, which I think I saw in it, is a good manager, a good executive. Because, you know, the responsibilities of the Banco Central is just immense. You do not only regulate the banking system, but you have to be able to create that environment that will uh, effectively protect your, the stability of our domestic currency. The country moves, exists, and progresses according to your socio-economic situation. Because you have to take care of the people with the proper uh, basic needs that they need to survive and to progress and to flourish and to enjoy a better future. Uh, Gabi was responsible for doing that part of our team. Was he himself was a good team leader.